Hi, I'm Mia Gray and I'm a senior lecturer in geography here at the University of Cambridge and I'm on strike for my PhD students and my postdocs. There's issues of pay, issues about pension, but the most important issue is about the casualization of our entire sector. The ways in which all the new jobs created are just part-time, one year here, six months there, two years there. Our younger academics can't actually form a life around that. They can't uh, settle in a place, they can't have family and children. If you're constantly uprooting yourself to go from place to place, it's absolutely horrible. And this is the sort of university that we're becoming. Not just Cambridge, but the whole sector. It's enormously problematic. And that is why we need to go on strike. It's enormously kind of important for the next generation. You know, it's not just about kind of uh, mid-career uh, academics. It's actually the most important thing is the younger people coming up because we're creating a structure for them which is impossible to kind of stay in and kind of have a long-term career in. So this needs fighting. Hi, I'm a research associate here at the university and uh, I'm striking because I want to make a, a career that is tenable for me to go into. I've uh, had m multiple years of temporary contracts and travelling around the country just to keep going at this career. Um, so the goal with one of these uh, of, of, of the strikes is to make uh, anti casualization something that makes it into a career you could persevere with. Uh, I know so many people who have a passion for this sort of work but have had to drop out because financial pressures of the world is really is really difficult and then with that that brain drain is being lost to other um, institutions and one of the things I think is so um, powerful about the, the UK is our academic institutions. There are many other industries that we're, we, we, we sh uh, we're losing to other countries but one of the things that we're really strong is, is, is academic institutions and if we keep losing these uh, bits of information to other countries or to other industries we're going to struggle to keep the quality of our, our academic institutions high. My name's uh, Philip Howell and uh, I'm on strike because I'm thinking about the future of my colleagues, uh, especially the younger colleagues, postdocs, graduate students. In some ways I don't have that much to lose. I've, uh, I've been at Cambridge for a very long time, 30 years, and I was an undergraduate and I wrote to the Vice-Chancellor saying that um, I'm not exactly uh, the most obvious member of the awkward squad out there. And if the university loses the support of people like me, I do a lot of work for college, do a lot of work for the university, I've been here a long time, then uh, actually the university is in trouble, the university sector is in trouble. Um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, in some ways I'm not going to be that badly hit, just because I've got a lot of miles under the clock and retirement is closer rather than uh, further away. But I feel that it's my duty actually to be here and think about uh, my graduate students who uh, want to be part of the academic sector, particularly the postdocs of whom I'm really, uh, really proud to see so many of them here and they are finding their way in a, in a profession that um, they're not going to be super well rewarded in terms of pay, but they're doing it because they love teaching, they love research, they love uh, being part of this community and if we don't provide a, a proper pathway for them to see their future here, then we're all in trouble. My name is Erica. I'm a PhD student at the university here in Cambridge. I support this strike and I am on strike these days because I think the questions that we're asking are not just about the pensions, they're not just about pay, they're not just about contracts, but it's about what the culturalization of those things represents. And it represents a culture at the university that is increasingly more austere, that's increasingly more hostile, both to academics and to students, that is increasingly um, abiding more and more to the rules of uh, the market, the rules of neoliberalism, and I think that should stop. I think the university should stand for something more. It should stand for something more in this world ruled by market. Um, so I hope everyone that feels the same way, everyone that has felt casualized by the culture at this university, that have felt strained by the culture at this university, will come and join the strike. Thank you. One of the main reasons that we're on strike is that our pension scheme has been uh, misvalued and the universities agreed that they would take into account the valuation of a, an expert panel and um, since that agreement they've broken it and they've uh, not, not taken on board the recommendations of the expert panel. 
One of the union's trustees, Jane Hutton, um, was aware that the university's uh, employers association had made many uh, problems, uh, we were, knew, knew that there were many problems with the valuation and for a year or so she was pointing this out to the USS employers and they ignored it and she had to blow the whistle and when she did blow the whistle she was kicked off USS as one of our trustees. My name is Jeff Miley, I'm a lecturer in sociology. Uh, we're on strike uh, obviously for many reasons. First of all there was a pension dispute, uh, there's also issues that have to do with pay uh, but I'm on strike more generally uh, because I think the university isn't living up to its ideals. I think that we want to have a different kind of university, a more democratic university, a university that when it comes to addressing the huge, the momentous challenges that humanity faces in the surviving next century, uh, thinking about the climate catastrophe, thinking about all of the wars, and the weapons of mass destruction, etc., I think the university has to be a part of the solution rather than continuing to be part of the problem. So I think that the ways in which the university is implicated in the problems uh, 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 that are going on is uh, shameful and I think that uh, we need to be out, uh, out demanding a different kind of university, a democratic university, a university that uh, lives up to the ideals of the pursuit of truth and the pursuit of all these things uh, uh, that uh, would, would, would help the university to be a space of freedom. So I'm, I'm Nick, I'm a, I'm a history uh, research fellow and I'm a college employee but I'm out here to support my, my, my colleagues. Uh, these are issues that affect all of us um, who work in universities as well as all, all of us who take part in the activities of the university uh, students as well because uh, the casualisation, the, the gender pay gap and the, and the, the race pay gap uh, as well as the, uh, the undermining of, of the pensions that give security to, to the people who work in the university uh, undermines the education for everybody in the university. Um, as college employees, we're keen here in, in, in Cambridge to find ways that we can take part in the strike. We'd like to be balloted um, to, to defend our, our, our rights. I'm, and I'm here to support my colleagues across the higher education sector. I think it's an important thing that, that the higher education is an activity that we're engaged in across all my colleagues across the country. And there are ways in which trends in higher education have been to try and set institutions against each other, set individual colleges here against each other. Um, and uh, in, we need to act collectively uh, in order to um, defend the conditions um, and also the, the quality of education we provide. I'm on strike because I want to have a career in academia. I want other people to be able to do their whole life's work on the social good of making people's lives better. And I want those people to be confident that at the end of their career they will be well taken care of with their pensions.